In KitKat 8, the command line interface, CLI, has received various new features and capabilities. Now, DRC and ERC can be executed from the CLI with the ability to generate reports in a machine-readable format, which is JSON, making integration with continuous integration pipelines possible. Additionally, it's also possible now to export bombs, bills of materials, and of course, it's another time saver. So I was just playing around with the CLI, I just spent a few minutes uh, having a look at, at it. But to access the CLI on macOS, you need to be in the working directory of your KiCad 8 installation in your computer, so you can see where that is for me. Of course, you can set up your system so that you can access the CLI from elsewhere as well, but I haven't done that yet. Uh, for the purposes of this quick demo. On the CLI, you can use the H switch to get assistance with the commands that are possible. So you can see at the very root, if I could just say, uh, kick out CLI help, then it will let me know which uh, commands, or arguments, or especially sub commands are available. So you can see here, you can uh, do operations with the footprint and the footprint libraries, the PCB schematics, the symbol and the symbol libraries, and versions. Now, if you want to drill further, you can just go one level down. Have a look at an example here. I said uh, KCAT CLI subcommand schematic, give me help for that. And then it says that the available subcommands for this subcommand ERC. So I can run an electrical rules check on that schematic and that will spit out a report or export. And for the export, you can see you can export netlists, a PDF of the schematic itself, BOM, etc. And you can keep on going with that as well. Of course, there's a lot more information and details in the KiCad 8 documentation that you can see here. So you can look at all these commands, see what they do and try them out. So I thought I would do a quick experiment here. I'm just going to clean up. And let's say I would like to do a ERC on the schematic for this project. Let's just go back to the schematic. All right, so this is my, my schematic. Let's do an ERC on this schematic. Of course, I don't expect any problems to come out. Last time, uh, a few violations and then ignore that uh, test, which is fine. So let's have a look at how we can make that work in the command line interface. So the structure of the command would start with just dot kick out CLI. And I want to do a schematic now. Uh, using the help switch to help me with the ERC subcommand. Okay, so let's add ERC to the mix here. The next thing that I need to do would be just doing that one step at a time, as you can see. Okay, I need to provide the input file. So I've got the input file right here, which is this file here, and my path to that file is this. So I'm just going to copy that, clean up. So here is the path. I'm, I'm using double quotes because there's a lot of blanks in there. And the schematic file is this. Just copy that in here and end the quotation. And for the output, I'm just going to place that in the project directory. So I'm just going to copy that with double quotes like that. All right, did I make a mistake? Okay, looks like I've made a mistake with my path. I believe it needs a file. So let's try this again. So around here, and I also had an error in my path. So I did that again in my text editor just to get it right. So let's try this out. And that's done. I've got 98 violations. And let's have a look at the export file, which is right here. I'm just going to use the cut command to show me the contents of the ERC. And it looks like this. There you go. So this could be useful if you want to pass this report to another program to provide some automation. And or of course, you can use it for your records for your run the ERC automatically on the command line as part of an automation system. For more about what you can do with this CLI, I recommend that you have a quick look at the documentation just to get your bearings right and then do some experimentation.